right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video so if you guys remember uh, a while back i did the ambient lighting on the on the floor for my mustang but today i'm gonna be doing it uh for my brother's car i think this is a kia k9 gt line so we have the ambient lighting right here i'm not gonna go well i'll probably post a uh ambient lighting on the description below the reason being is because uh my older brother got these uh lights for my brother i think it was for his birthday so i don't know where he, it is that he got these uh specific ones so i'll probably put one in the description below of a different kind that's also uh, also works for it but yeah um honestly there's no instructions on how to install this there's only need, like a picture that shows like literally what i where the lights are. It doesn't show you where to like put like the actual box and all that. Nor does it tell you like it has like some little like double-sided plastic things in the in the box. Doesn't tell you how to use it. So I'm just gonna like I guess guess it. I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, I'm not really gonna explain. Uh, actually, I am gonna explain. But basically, hopefully the light isn't too exposed. But so basically, it has this box right here, which these wires right here go to the individual lights and um yeah the line on two of these are short and the other two are like longer so um the shorter one goes to the front the two front ones and then the longer ones go to the two back ones i'm not gonna really go in too much depth because uh i'm pretty sure the ones that you guys are gonna get is gonna be a little bit different but i'm gonna try my best to wire it and the rest of the video is just gonna be i guess like a time lapse of me doing this and it's hot So before we go ahead and start wiring them, I always like to make sure and like, check the lights just to make sure they work. Because the last thing you want is to uh, do all the stuff and when you try to turn it on. Oh, oh, copyright. Alright guys, so it's been probably like an hour, I want to say, maybe a little bit less, like 40 minutes. But I finally got it done. Uh, the only problem I had with this was that I, I don't know how to take off the center console. Like on my Mustang, there's uh, literally two screws in the back right here that you take off. And then you pop off the, the shift booth, remove the shift knob so you can take that off. And you just pull the, the cover up and it comes off. Then actually, no, 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 I take that back. You got to take off the plastic trims around the side as well. Then you could lift up the cover and take it back off. But right here, I wasn't able to do it. Like, I didn't know how I was able to pick like the back piece up right here, but everything else just didn't want to come off. So I, I just had to do stuff uh, with some wires still showing. So let me go ahead and show you guys right now. So we looked down here. I put everything on the driver's side because the only person that's going to be here is the owner of the car. Everybody else is going to be on the passenger or in the back side. So uh, the wires are right here. I have the, I don't know what this box right here is called. If it wants to focus. There you go. And in the back, I put some Velcro. Uh, double side. So it, it could like hold it and you could just take it off like that. Did the same with these wires here just because I didn't want these wires to like be popping off. Not popping off, but be like sticking out. So I, so I went ahead and put some Velcro right here. The rest of the remaining wire, I tucked it in under here. 
zip tie this just so that it's not like all loose and then there's a signal for the control so i have to leave that outside put some velcro on this piece too and then this wire runs up to the light right here and then for the passenger side it runs up through here and i just crammed it cramped it in this little seam right here same with the bottom right here you guys can see it goes all the way back i put the remainder of the wire into this hole right here and then we have the light bar that goes through here and then for the rear both wires come through the back right here and one of them comes back down through here and connects to the the light bar that's under here and the wire the rest i just tucked it back here that way when you move the seat forward and backwards it like has some give so it doesn't tug on the on the wire itself i was gonna put it here but the floor mat has like these things right here so it doesn't really let the wire get moved and then the other the connection i meant to say comes back here and then i ran the wire underneath this part right here and that goes to the back uh light which is right there same thing with the with the wire just tucked it underneath that way when they move the seat forward and backwards it still has a give anyways let's go ahead and try it out we turn it on you guys can kind of see the cutter i'll put you guys closer you guys can see it red green blue white orange yellow the kind purple and we have jump what is this that's the first jump you guys can see uh, it doesn't really want to focus anyways then we got jump two jump three I guess it's just like lights that change uh, slow motion. That's not even jump, that's fade three, I meant to say. This fade seven. And this one is like with the, it turns on with the sound. So, hey. Oh, I guess it changes every time it hears a noise. Anyways, yeah, uh, we're gonna keep it on red. I don't know what he wants it. And you can also change the brightness with these buttons right here, these two. And yeah that's gonna be it for today's video my hair is messy as heck but um yeah i didn't really have a video for you guys so i just thought i would record this video this is probably gonna be the shortest video i have i would have kept recording but my cousins came over as well so we were just talking and there we were all inside the car so there was no space for the camera so i just stopped recording just thought i just do this and then show you guys after uh but yeah i'm not gonna show you guys nothing about like at night time because i'm not gonna be here during the night on this we go out some like and as we go out at night time i'll show you guys the lighting that's gonna be pretty much it so yeah